The major flooding around Tampa is enough to upset residents, but now city leaders are adding to their frustrations by wanting to more than double their stormwater fees. Officials insist the hike is long overdue because many parts of the city have flooding issues. And on your side, Josh Thomas was at the PAC City Council meeting today, and he joins us now live. Josh, what were they saying about the proposal? Well, quite frankly, they're talking about raising stormwater fees for people who own homes here in the city of Tampa. Now, the council members and the staff both agree that regular flooding in Tampa has become a major issue that can no longer be put off, and that means charging property owners more to make major improvements to the stormwater system. The heavy rain that's caused severe flooding throughout the Bay Area the past two weeks left its mark on homes and businesses. Matt Rowe owns a house in South Tampa, a home that's been flooded more than once since he bought the place. The latest happening this past weekend. Hopefully my presence, Ed's presence, our neighbor's presence here can shine some light on what really happens when this type of event takes place that can be avoided. Rowe is one of several people who came before the Tampa City Council to urge them to do something about stormwater runoff. It happens as the members are considering raising stormwater fees for property owners from 36 to 82 dollars annually and increasing incrementally over the next five years. It's not a matter of, you know, how we're going to do this. I think for us it's when are we going to do this and for me the sooner the better. The cost and pay for the $251 million stormwater project would be a burden for some taxpayers, but one council member claimed it would also ease flooding concerns. It won't be perfect. We will always have some kind of flooding, but where we can make a difference and better our community, this is something that definitely uh, we should be supporting. The city's public works we director told me the improvements the to the stormwater system project. are long overdue. We need to do something about it. I mean, it, it, it's really... Um, something that's gone on forever. Works Department will come back. The Public Works Department will come back to the City Council on August 27th to basically give its recommendations on the steps that need to be taken next. Jen? You know, I'm curious, Josh, how do the current Tampa stormwater rates compare to other Florida communities? Well, the current rates, quite frankly, right now are below most major, most major metropolitan areas here in Florida. However, if that proposed hike does go into effect, it would put it more in line with those municipalities. Interesting. All right. Josh Thomas, live in Tampa for us tonight. Thank you.